half of the ankle round is 5.25 inches plus half inch of seam allowance that would be 5.75 inches see where you get that measurement so here to here is 5.75 so do your first marking there and using your set square or L scale draw a perpendicular line if you are giving gathers mark 8 to 12 inches from this line if you do not want to give gathers then skip this step I'll be marking 8 inches if you want more gathers you can mark more I'll be marking 10 inches again draw a perpendicular line using your L scale or set square and on this line mark half of the ankle round that is 5.25 inches and same marking on this line as well now from the upper line mark the full length of the pants full length is 40 inches again draw a perpendicular line from this line mark the crotch length downwards now to the crotch length you will be adding 3 inches so the crotch length here is 9 plus 3 would be 12 inches downwards now if you are not very sure of the crotch depth measurement there is another option you can mark quarter of your hip round plus 3 inches draw a perpendicular line so this is the line on which we will be marking half of the thigh round when we come to the round measurements again from the waistline though I call this the waistline on this line we will be marking our hip round as this part sits on the waist from the waistline mark towards the left your knee length the knee length here is 22 inches and again draw a perpendicular line Now we have got all the lengths. Now we will be marking the round measurements. On the knee line mark half of knee round. The knee round here is 14 inches. So mark from the fold side. I am marking 7 inches. Plus add 1 inch ease. Now this can vary as per the comfort you need in wearing. This is supposed to be a fitted pant so 1 inch ease would be enough on the knees but if you want you can keep it more or if you are working with a soft fabric you can just keep half an inch of ease at the knees. Now on the crotch line mark half of the thigh round. The thigh round here is 21 inches divided by 2 would be 10.5. Let's add 2 inches ease. Again you can increase the ease here. On the waistline mark quarter of your hip round the hip round here is 34 inches divided by 4 would be 8 and a half plus add 1 inch so there are 5 lines waistline cross line knee line ankle gather line and the ankle line now you must be wondering on the waistline why did I mark the hip measurement that is because if you mark the waist measurement you wouldn't be able to pull the pants up through your hips as the waist is smaller than the hip so we keep the hip measurement and whatever looseness you get on the waist is tightened using the drawstring now from the east point here on the waistline draw a perpendicular line downwards towards the cross line now we'll be connecting these points take your hip curve keep the wider end of the hip curve to the east point on the crotch line and connect to the east point on the knee line using the outer curve of the hip curve again keep the same point to where you stopped and connect to the point on the ankle gather line just smoothen it here so that it looks like one smooth line and from the gather line to the ankle connect with the straight line and from this part there is the east point on the cross line with the 90 degree angle draw curve connecting to the line that came down from the waistline 
the 90 degree angle is given to this line you just drew so keep your set square one of the edges aligned to this line and just draw the beginning of this curve and you can blend it to the waistline now we'll be adding seam allowance like explained earlier two inches at the waistline and half inch the sides draw in the same shape as you've drawn here and half inch or three fourth inch when you're doing it for the first time give three fourth inch seam allowance in the sides so that if you need to alter if you need to loosen the pants, you have enough fabric. One inch at the bottom hem. If you see there is a part cut off here, that's fine. We'll be folding this fabric anyways. Now before cutting, just to make your sewing easier, just run the tracing wheel on the inside line all around that makes it easier while you sew I'm tracing on the inside line, not on the outside, because outside anyways will be cutting on it. Learn to make this beautiful high neck blouse with built-in collar. In this class, learn what changes to make to your collared blouse pattern to convert to a built-in collar pattern. Learn the simple tips which helps you sew perfectly. Learn designing your blouse to enhance the beauty of the blouse. This neckline can also be done with other kinds of blouses like princess, waistband, padded or katori as learnt in our previous classes. Join servicefashionstudio.com to learn this beautiful skill and make your own garments. So start sewing and happy sewing. Now we'll be cutting the fabric and we'll be cutting on the seam allowance line that is the outermost line. Make a few notches at few places. This makes it easy while sewing to match the two parts of the legs. Now, if you see here, the lower layer is missing a part and we need to cut that. When you cut the missing part, it's very important you mat the grains on the fabric. That is, if you see here, this is selvage. So it's straight grain. When you keep the other part of the fabric, make sure you keep the same grain. Now the missing part is only for two layers. This is the leftover fabric. Take only two layers. And keep selvage with selvage so that you're matching the grain lines. Even this is straight and this is also straight grain line. Take two layers. Keep it one inch overlapping. I explained earlier when I was doing it on the paper. We keep this overlapping by one inch because when we sew this together, we'll be taking half inch seam allowance on both the fabrics. If you want, you can just mark one inch. And then place this edge on that marking. Now, as this has the complete pattern, place this on the lower fabric and cut as per the shape here. Also, before removing, just run your tracing wheel on the waistline marking.
first we'll be joining these two pieces and make the pattern complete now I'll just open this and show it to you now this is the wrong side of the fabric this is the wrong side of this extra fabric now keep together and keep right on right and sew it half an inch I'll just spin it for now so after you stitch the seam should be on the wrong side not on the right side similarly for the other leg now in this this is the wrong side and this is the wrong side keep it together and then keep right on right and sew it half an inch and the seam should be on the wrong side once you sew this is how it would be both the joints should come to one side it can be either front or back that doesn't matter but it should be on one side so this is how it would be now we'll be sewing and i'll show you step by step how to complete this pants <laughs> 